Is it possible for a kid who ha starts off in very weak circumstances to be able to really make something of him or herself? And I would say, yeah, that is still really true. I had very good parents. Both of them always worked very hard. There were five of us. I was the oldest. I was probably only six, maybe seven years old. And I'd been working with my dad and my uncle up in the chicken coops, cleaning the chicken residue, let's say, on a hot day doing that. My mom went to the freezer and I got two ice cubes when all the other kids only got one. She was a really good motivator. It only applied to one college, and that was the University of New Hampshire. Took that $100 scholarship plus 295 bucks I'd earned that summer, and I bought a car with it instead of using it to go, <laughs> to, go to school. So I thought I'd work with my dad. What I ended up learning was that uh, my dad and I, our personalities were never going to mesh to work that way. And I drove to the University of New Hampshire, and I found the director of admissions office. And they said, well, I'm, I'm sorry, do you have an appointment? And I said, no, I don't. And they said, well, then you can't see him. I said, well, he's got to come out sometime. Doesn't he walk to his car at the end of the day? I'll just sit here and wait. So I was there for a couple of hours. And she finally came over to me and said, he'll see you now. This actually worked. At the end of my sophomore year, I was actually called in front of the assistant dean of students and uh, told, we're not going to allow you to live on campus next year. What, what did I do? She said, it just seems like no matter where you are, there's trouble. I have met her since. And she said, well, it sounds like I probably made the right decision. And it was probably good for me because that's when I started working full-time nights and going to school during the day. And I was uh, changing uh, tires and batteries at a Sears garage. Then I ended up getting a job as an hourly employee at a jet engine factory. Then I ended up getting married and my wife was pregnant. We were living in a third floor apartment. That There was a, like a little gas blower that came off the stove. That was the heat for the whole uh, apartment. Interestingly, when I went back to school with purpose, wow, the whole world got a lot easier for me because I've noticed it about myself and I would say about the kind of people that we hire. You strive, you achieve the goal, and it seems like after momentary celebration, you're wondering what the next goal is because it's the striving and the making progress that's that's fun, seeing where you're going next.